What's up everyone, Mike here with Things You Might Like, and it has been far too long since I've put out a proper video, so happy to be back. For those of you who are familiar with the channel, welcome back. If you are new here, consider subscribing and liking the video if you like what you see. So if you didn't know, recently there was an announcement that a company called Cloudfare has come out with the fastest and most secure DNS server. Now a real quick rundown for those who don't know what DNS servers are. They associate names, so you know perhaps google.com, with their actual internet IP address. And so what Cloudfare is saying is that theirs is the fastest. So what I wanted to test today was if this fast DNS, if you change to this DNS server, which is easy to do, takes about 30 seconds, would this improve your ping times and thus improve your PUBG gameplay? So we're gonna jump right into it and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do to change your DNS server. And once we do that, I'm gonna open up a couple of PUBG server ping sites to see if we can see any appreciable changes. So let's get into it. To start off, we're gonna go in our bottom right corner. This is Windows 10. And we're gonna right click and click on open network and internet settings and go to Network and Sharing Center. For those of you who are on an older version of Windows, another way that you can get there that also works with Windows 10 is to go to the Control Panel, click on Network and Internet, and Network and Sharing Center. So once we're in this screen, we're going to click on your Ethernet or whatever your connection is, go to Properties, and click on this Internet Protocol version 4. Double-click that and it's probably on obtain DNS server address automatically and it's probably defaulting to your local router. So we're going to click use the following DNS server address and click one, 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 you guessed it, one. And click okay, and that is it. Now we're on the new DNS. So now that you know how to do it, for the sake of testing, I'm gonna roll back to the old one, simply by going like that. We're gonna go to a couple of test sites and see if we can tell a difference. So the very first site that we are going to check out is this pubg.discuse.ru, a Russian streamer server. Yeah. So we're gonna go with that to give a first shot. And we're gonna leave everything checked because I want to see not only with my local servers if it will be able to make a difference across the faraway servers. So we're gonna make sure everything is checked by clicking check all. And we are going to hit ping and I'm gonna do 10 tests with the default DNS server and then 10 tests with the new server, with the CloudShare server, and we're gonna compare. So let's go ahead and uh, fast forward this part. All right, so that is 10 runs across all of the different servers. So instead of doing this through the magic of editing, oh, hey, Gamer J Pop, you're in my video. Instead of through the magic of video editing, I'm gonna do it the ghetto way and take a snapshot. So let's go ahead and just grab these averages and so we can compare them after we change the DNS server. So let me pull these off screen and we're gonna switch our DNS server, if I can find it. Now we're sharing this guy, properties, PV4. I mean, it's just so incredibly fast to get that switch done, which is kind of nice, especially for display purposes. All right, let's refresh this, start the 10 tests over again, and I will compare the results. Here we go. All right, so that is 10. Let's go ahead and grab our snip, pull it over, and start comparing. All right, what do we got here? So this side is the new server, the faster server, and this is the old one, which is my local DNS server, which most people have in their router. So right off the bat, a little faster than the old one, a little faster than the new one, a little faster than the new, a little faster. So it looks like we are just trading blows back and forth. Um, this could be standard deviation. This could vary greatly with the moment that we tested against the PUBG server. So I'm not seeing a big enough difference here to say that one is better than the other. They look pretty darn close. And I kind of expected that result, so I wanted to check a couple other sites to see if maybe other testing methodologies would give us a different result. So now we're going to this pubgserverping.com. And this just does it live. So first, I'm gonna go back to the other DNS. 
So this one takes a little bit longer. So again, I'm gonna let it sit. It pings every 10 seconds and will give you an average over the last minute of ping. So I'm gonna let it sit for a while. You can watch it change at a little bit of a higher speed and we'll see what the results is at the end. All right, those are looking pretty steady. That was about a minute and a half, two minutes or so. So again, we are gonna go the ghetto way, grab the snipping tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab these minimum and maximum numbers alongside the average, pull that off screen, switch over to our new handy dandy DNS server again, and we are going to give it another couple minutes. Refresh the page. And I will see you in a couple minutes and we'll see how this levels out. And while this is running, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that snip in so you have a bit of a reference. All right, I think I'm going to call it there. I think it's been enough time. Very interesting results. We are seeing a tighter spread over on the new DNS server side and slightly lower numbers. Again, it's hard to tell if this will be something to be able to actually gauge in the game, but it's nice to see that something is happening and looks like we've been able to tell that live. I like this page. I like the methodology. They talk about how they found these servers to test them against. Um, so kind of a cool page. I recommend you check it out. And there's one more page I want to test just to see if we can find any difference. Let me switch it back. Now I thought this last one would be pretty interesting purely because it only gives a live number. And so this is kind of similar to what you'd see in game. You're only gonna notice the numbers in the moment, right? You're not gonna have all these before and after numbers and compare one game to the next game. So I wanted to see if we could see the latency drop in a live test like this. So we're floating anywhere from 65 to 72-ish, uh, maybe a couple outliers lower and above, but generally that's where we're sitting at. So now we are going to change over to the other DNS server for the last time. Oh, there's an 80 right there. We're gonna change for the last time and see if we can notice any difference and then we're gonna talk about the results. So you saw that 620, that was probably it changing servers. If I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5 to refresh the page and see what we get. It would be nice if they just threw in an average and that wouldn't be hard to do either. But this is what we've got to work with. So this is what we're gonna try out. And it's looking fairly the same, maybe even a little bit higher through this test, but overall floating about the same numbers we're seeing, again, anywhere from a two to five millisecond variance, depending on the moment to moment. And it's interesting that they note on this site, if the latency you're receiving is not stable, there's a great chance that it is not your internet's fault, internets, there should be an S there, friends, fault, but the service provider of PUBG itself. So from what we've been able to tell, it doesn't look like it'll make much, if any, of a difference with PUBG with our current testing methodology. Now, that doesn't speak to any other games and how it would work with their servers, but it didn't give me a reason not to use it. So let me give you one now why I think you should use it. So what I have up here is just regular YouTube page. I haven't clicked on any of these links. I'm not signed in, so none of these videos are cached. And I wanna show you my browsing experience since I've moved over to it because I feel like it is definitely much snappier. Now I currently run on 100 megabits down, 10 megabits up, and so I just wanna go through and fly through YouTube to see how fast these videos load. Probably should go ahead and mute this. I mean, it just feels incredibly snappy when I go through. From the time I click to when a movie starts playing, it's way less than a second. And I'm not quite used to that. My internet has been fine, but I feel like it is just much smoother, much snappier as I navigate through the web in general. So should you use this? Should you try it? Yes, hands down, yes. It takes just a couple seconds to switch over and it's definitely not gonna make things worse from what I've been able to tell. There's a lot more videos about people who do some much more hardcore testing and in their opinion, also, yes, it generally gives you much better internet browsing experiences. So by all means, move over. Let me know in the comments below your experience with this because I'm very curious with different parts of the world, different parts of even America, if you're able to tell the difference. 
I am currently in mountain time in Colorado specifically, so my results were based off of that. So let me know in the comments below if you feel that you've noticed a difference and if this helped you. Again, if this does help you, go ahead and throw a like on the video and consider subscribing. We do a lot of live streams around here and I love putting out videos that help make your gaming experience better in any way possible. So as soon as this came out, I wanted to be able to share it with you guys and give it a test. So thanks a lot for hanging out with me today, guys. My name is Mike. This is Things You Might Like, and I will see you guys with my next cool thing.